Ever since I can remember, I did not want to go to college. But there's so much society pressure to go to college. In high school, pretty much all they do is prep you for college. There's heavy pressure from teachers, counselors, maybe your family, which it's fine. It makes sense. All they want is the best for you. And in our society, it's kind of a blanket statement that college is the best for you, the best education, and just the next step that you take into adulthood. So college is about to start and maybe you decided that you don't want to go to college and you're feeling a little bit lost. But there's no need to feel that way. I'm going to help you through every everything that I've learned since I was 18 about not going to college. So I do got to preface my story a little bit. Luckily, no one in my immediate family had heavy pressure for college. Actually, no one in my immediate family either finished or went to college. I actually graduated high school a semester early and moved out of my parents' house when I was 17. But after a couple months of living on my own, I kind of questioned if I should have gone to college. That means that I would have been starting a year later than all of my peers and I would have been behind. And while you can always go back to school and I encourage you to if you want to, I decided that that probably wasn't the best route for me. I'm a very creative person. I've never done well at just sitting and being told what to do. And I know college is a different environment, but it just wasn't for me. I was also doing YouTube full time and luckily I was able to make a really good income off of this. I know not everyone's in that position, but I have seen lots of family members who didn't go to college also be successful. I'm now working a full time job at the age of 21 as well as doing YouTube on the side still. So without further ado, this is what I wish I knew before I decided not to go to college. I'm going to break this up into three sections. We're going to do our pros, our cons, and some tips that I have for you guys. Not to scare you, but I gotta start with the cons. This might seem stupid, but the biggest con was not having a social life and the dating world. Pretty much everyone I know made a ton of friends in college, joined a sorority, joined a frat, was always hanging out with friends, whether it was going to parties or just finding good friends. And if you don't go to college, it's a lot harder to do this and to find a community within your age group. It might seem stupid, but it has a huge impact on your life. From 18 to like 22, that's a big chunk of your life to just not be relating to most people your age and it's really hard to make friends in the adult real world now this one didn't affect me if you know my story as much but the dating world a lot of people who don't go to college find it very difficult to date and kind of resort to online dating go for it if you want but i prefer to meet people in person and it's a lot harder to do if you're not going to college the second con is that you kind of have to jump straight into the work field this kind of goes into my tips but i really don't recommend taking a bunch of time off if you just want to do one gap year or whatever sure you're young you still have a lot of time to start a career but the sooner that you can get into experience the better so it does kind of suck going straight from high school straight into the workplace and even if you decide to take like a gap year you still need money from somewhere to do what you're gonna do during your gap year either way you have to work this goes without saying but you won't have a degree a lot of the classic nine to five corporate type of jobs require a degree which they might say they require one and then they'll take you even though you don't have a degree so go for the job that you want even if if you don't have one but a lot of jobs do require degrees and especially if you want to go into a field that clearly requires a degree like being a doctor or lawyer you're gonna need to go to college so it's kind of a con that you just have to write all of that off as not an option for you you're also not gonna fit in with your peers it's gonna be harder to find friends like I said but also you're not gonna fit in with most people your age from 18 to 22 and maybe even further depending how much school people go to you're not gonna be relating most people your age are gonna be in college and it's it's also going to cause for some awkward conversations with older people because when you're in that age range all everyone ever asks you is what college you go to are you in school what are you studying what's your major and you're like I'm not in college and then you get judged so that's another con you're gonna get judged by older people and the last con I would say is that it's gonna be harder to start at a high paying job you're probably gonna have to start somewhere that pays less and work your way up whereas having a degree might get you started into a better paying job and potentially a high paying job but that's not always the case and if you guys want me to make a video talking about alternatives to college I have a ton of ideas of what you could do other than go to college and still be able to potentially make a lot of money be successful and have a great career formal education isn't for everyone though and there are still tons of ways to get education other than going to college so don't let that one get you down so now let's have some fun and talk about the pros of not going to college the obvious pro is that you can do whatever you want you can literally do whatever you want unless you're still living at your parents house and they can tell you what you can and can't do or whatever whatever, you're an adult. You are now free to go do whatever it is that your heart desires, which is one of the best benefits of not going to college. This one also goes without saying, but you're not going to be in debt. So many people 
I know are in thousands and thousands, maybe tens of thousands of dollars in debt. Now, some people can go to college and not go into debt, but I'd say the vast majority have to take out student loans and then they're in debt. So you get a jump start into life without being in debt, but you do need to be careful and still budget and spend your money wisely, or you could find yourself in debt, just not from school. The way that I've always looked at college is kind of like it was just a huge waste of money and kind of a scam. I've always kind of thought of college as a scam. I know that it's like not, and there are reasons that people want to go to college, whatever you choose to do, you gotta do what's best for you. But at least for the careers that I wanted to pursue in life, it just wouldn't have helped me. I would rather take courses or get certifications online where I could just pay for that one little thing and it's way cheaper than paying to go to a community college or a university, which obviously does not work for everyone, but that was just always my perspective on it. You get a jump start into your career. Now, this one does come with a little bit of a preface to it. What's the right word? I'm trying to think of, I don't know. But yes, you can start your career right away, but you don't have a degree to help you start and you're basically starting from scratch unless you were building a career while you were in high school. So yeah, you could start at a job right now, work your way up, you could start your business, you could start your freelancing, whatever it is right now at the age of 18 years old and kind of have a jump start into it. This could actually turn out very successful because while most of your peers are in school for four years or more, you are starting your career for four more years or starting your business, whatever it is is you have the potential to make money and to get started. Next two go hand in hand, but you have more opportunities as well as real life experience. You are not bound by the schedule of a college classroom. You're not bound by the money that it costs to go to college or the fact that you might have to live in a dorm or whatever it is. You're not bound by that. So you objectively have more opportunities. Throw yourself into your own internship or apprenticeship or just start somewhere and learn from someone. Whatever you can do to get yourself started in life, you have more opportunities you could also travel if you want and if you can afford it and there's just so much that you can do like you could literally just go live in another country and not study abroad but just live abroad you could work online and live abroad in a cheaper place than what you get paid online or you could go volunteer somewhere you could literally just spend your whole entire college age years volunteering in other countries like there are so many endless opportunities when you're not bound by being in college and you get real life experience so whether that is off living in another country volunteering, traveling, or working in a job, a mentorship, an apprenticeship, or just getting some experience from whatever creative work you're going to be in and getting better at that skill, you have actual real life experience. Now, it depends on what job you're going for, but a lot of times life experience is equal or more important than a degree. The job that I have right now, they hired me because I had seven years of experience in the social media and video making world, not because I had a degree. In fact, I don't have a degree. And there's a lot of companies that will hire people who have experience and not a degree. Like I said, if you guys want a video with some options, then let me know. But some great industries is the insurance industry is a trillion dollar industry. That's right, trillion. And there are endless jobs that do not require a degree and the more experience you have in those jobs, the more money that you get paid. Um, another great option is real estate or creative or starting a business. There are just so many opportunities and you get actual real life experience to help you get those jobs. Start now, work the low paying job, get that out of the way so you can get experience. You get to start your life right now right now most people don't think their life really starts like their adult life until they are out of college but here you are 18 years old or whatever age you are and you're not in college and you're starting real life right now now it definitely depends on your situation if you're still living at home with your parents if you're just hopping into going and getting an apartment there are so many different experiences you could be having right now but at the end of the day you can get started with quote-unquote real life right away you have the opportunity to also break out of the mold you can go show people that you don't have to go to college you can be another example Example of the and I looked it up 30% of today's billionaires do not have a bachelor's degree you could be one of those I'm really rooting for you <laughs> very difficult task but I'm rooting for you anyway jokes aside you can break out of the mold and it just kind of feels freeing and creative to be able to not do what everyone else is doing if it works for you the real world is the only place to learn real world things not the classroom in the classroom you can only learn so much you can only study so many books about a thing about a job about a skill without throwing yourself into it. Like I said, experience can sometimes be more valuable than a degree. Even if you get a degree, a lot of times you don't actually know what that field is like or that 
job is like until you are in it. And yes, I know some jobs actually do require a degree and I'm not like looking down on college or saying that you shouldn't if you don't want to. I'm just trying to give other options and the pros and cons of that. But the real world is the only place that you can learn about the real world. The college life that you live is really nothing like the real world actually is. So you get to start that right now. It's not always fun. It's not always easy, but you get to start. <laughs> and I think one of the best parts about not going to college is that you are forced to get out of your comfort zone and to get creative. How are you going to make money? Because you don't have a degree. You're not going to college. So what are you going to do with your time? How are you going to make it worth it? And how are you going to set yourself up for the future, family up for the future, your retirement, all of that? Start thinking about it now. I know you're young, but the sooner you think about it, the better. But how are you going to do it? You're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to be creative. And I just think it's a really, really great opportunity to do that. So that pros and cons list was kind of just based on my life. Maybe you think some of my pros were cons and some of my cons are pros, whatever it is. But I'm just letting you know that if you decide not to go to college, you're not going to be unsuccessful. So I just want to give you guys some of my tips for not going to college. Save money and make money. This is not your time to do nothing unless somehow you can, I guess. But this is a really, really great opportunity to spend the four years that all of your friends are going to college and potentially just hanging out with friends or studying or whatever they're doing to make and save as much money as possible. Um, another tip is honestly, if you can physically and emotionally still live with your parents and work full time, amazing opportunity to just save a bunch of money. I know that's not everyone's circumstance. It wasn't my circumstance, but it would be a great circumstance. <laughs> I know you're not going to college and you kind of want to just go have some fun and you can, you can spend a little bit of time and money doing that, but try to save and set yourself up for the next couple years. Get as much life and work experience as you can. I put life and work because I don't want you guys to feel like just because you're not going to college you have to work grind 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 all the time I'm really not one for hustle culture I still want you to enjoy your life and go have some life experiences like yeah work some and then also spend a little money and have some fun now just because you're not going to college doesn't mean that you're gonna be undereducated continue to educate yourself whether it's taking online certifications doing an apprenticeship or mentorship or just learning from life experiences continue to educate yourself there's so many amazing free courses and stuff out there as well as like books and maybe even cheap courses whatever it is like the amount of books that you can learn from i highly encourage to continue to educate yourself there's also a great opportunity to figure out what your goals are who you want to be who you want to surround yourself with so take some time to figure that out and if you can figure that out sooner then you'll be ahead of most people i also strongly suggest you surround yourself with people who also want to grow if you and some friends all decide not to go to college and they're kind of being bums and don't really want to do anything those aren't the people you want to surround yourself with you have so much opportunity to grow and become the best version of yourself in all aspects of your life here which you do in college as well. I always think people should be improving themselves, but especially if you decided to not go the college route, surround yourself with people who are gonna push you to be the best you. Always continue to improve yourself, educate yourself, and of course, enjoy life. Once again, this video is not to encourage people not to go to college or potentially go in the future. Whatever your circumstance or situation is, I just wanna let you guys know that there are options other than going to college. You're not a failure because you decided or couldn't go. You can still be successful. There's still so much life to live. You're still so young, and I really wish you guys the best year and the best next couple of years of your life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this, comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one. Bye!